Hello YouTube, it's Mike here back in another video. Before I get on to the topic on hand, the situation with um my previous pickups video and the upcoming one. The one from uh, Saturday I wasn't really able to make. I didn't even get a video game related item. All I thought was this, because I thought it was really real fucking cute. Um But anyways for tomorrow, there will not be a video. I will not be going out tomorrow morning. My friend and I are... My friend's spending the night at my house tonight. So, you know... I'm not going to be going video game hunting this weekend. Definitely next weekend I will be out. And about. But, um... Anyways, let's get into the topic on hand. Walmart, looking to get into the used video game market. Now, all I can say is... If if the word gets out more, because let's be realistic here, more people will go to Walmart than GameStop. If this is successful, GameStop is gonna be shitting bricks. I mean, realistically, there are two reasons why a person would trade in their games: to get new games, or these are not into video games anymore. People are not into video games anymore. Can go trade in their games at Walmart, and not buy, and not just buy more games. They can buy whatever the hell they want to buy: food, other electronics, clothes, whatever. Capri Sun. I'm like GameStop, where you just gotta buy more shit, more games. Unless they take cash, which they don't give you much for. Um. So, and another thing is I'm really intrigued by what Walmart's going to be giving. Like, I know at some Walmarts they do have trading thing, but now they're taking this to all the Walmarts. And, you know, I'm intrigued if they're going to give shit prices at GameStop, or if they're going to give us fair prices. Like, for instance, here's an example. A copy of Brutal Legend, for instance. The game sells for like $5 if they were to give us like two fifty instead of $0.25. Cents. Like, um, now, when it comes to this, they will only be taking games, as far as I know, not systems, not controllers or anything. Which, I don't really mind. To be truthfully honest, because I don't really trade in systems anyways anymore. But um, you know, they will not be selling retro games as far as I know. Which, to be honest, I don't mind. Like, I I don't mind retail stores not selling retro games anymore. It just doesn't bother me if they do great, but like. It's just really, really difficult to keep up a market with retro games. The values go all up and down and all over the place all the time. And it's hard to keep track of all of it. Plus, retro games, the library for them is so huge that pretty much every day you gotta go through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of games to change prices. Now, I find, I, like, I have total sympathy for retro game stores that, you know, sell retro stuff. Like, it's a difficult price market to keep up with if you're selling them. It's just not easy to do. Like, so, I'm fine with them just selling PS4, Xbox One, PS3, 360, Wii U, Wii, stuff like that. I'm not expecting them to bend over backwards and sell NES and SNES and N64 and GameCube and PS2 and PS1 and Genesis and Master System and Commodore 64. I'm not expecting them to do that. I, I, I'm just fine with, um, the modern games. 
And you know, when when the modern games become retro, you know, they'll probably liquidate them. Like overall point being is I don't care if retailers sell retro games or not. If they bend over backwards to try and do that, great, but you know, hey, I'm I'm not gonna judge. It's too difficult of a thing to do. I probably couldn't even do it myself. So GameStop will probably be in trouble by this. As you know, with Walmart, there's so many more options. Like, if Best Buy could have been a little more successful, but I mean, they only sell electronics and appliances. Walmart sells everything under the sun. If people could trade in their games and have less limited and more of a wide selection, and they give fair trading values, either the same as GameStop or above, GameStop's in trouble then how is GameStop going to, you know, fight back against this? They're probably not. They're going to suffer the same fate that, you know, they made Funko Land and Planet X games and Electronic Boutique and stuff like that. Now, the only way to counter back up against something like that was if they were to be a retro game store as well, which yet again, not expecting them to bend over backwards. And also knowing their mindset, they're going to say, we already liquidated those games years and years ago, and blah, 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 blah. Like, they would feel so ashamed they probably won't even try again, because they've sold off their GameCube stuff, their PS2, their this, their that. I mean, they've sold off all the retro games, and do they really want to rely on people to bring it all back and then they have to dic they, they're, they, I don't even know if they would want to dictate the prices or the train values or anything and they have to go through all of that GameStop's just too lazy of a company to do it I think GameStop will probably close up shop if this is successful with Walmart so that was my thoughts on um, Walmart going to the used game market this could be you know it, it could be good or bad the only problem I personally have with Walmart getting into this is, um, the, the Walmart by me, yes, I live in the United States of America, I live in New Jersey, um, the, my closest Walmart is on the other side of town, and, you know, on the other side of town is where people from bad neighborhoods like Patterson come in, so, you know, and, you know, I don't, I, I, har I hardly ever go there. When I'm older, I'll probably be going to that Walmart more. Well, like, you know, unlike GameStop, which here's five in my area. But hey, you know, good for Walmart. I, I could just say that. Good for Walmart. 